In the words of Sean Carter, aka Jay Z, you had a spark when you started, but now you're just garbage. Chris Primetime Colbert went from fighting on PBC to fighting on YouTube. That's right. My, 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 how times have changed. He's not a pay-per-view attraction. Last time I saw Chris Colbert, he was sleeping in that ring from Rio Venezuela. It's crazy how you could go from fighting on PBC and Amazon Prime to fighting on YouTube. That's right. Errol the True Spence tweeted out, what channel is Chris Colbert fighting on? Nobody knew where the man was fighting. Little did they know the man was fighting on YouTube. Your father can get it too. I told Chris Colbert two years ago, why you trying to be a gangster, bro? You are a boxer. You should act like a boxer. Conduct yourself with class. You are not a street dude. Boxers ain't gangsters and gangsters don't box. Y'all already know that. Chris Colbert blocked me immediately. I think the man got way too confident. The man thought he was better than he actually was. Take a look at this video right here. What do y'all see when y'all looking at Chris Colbert in the ring? I see a man wearing chanclas inside a boxing ring. Like I said, the man got way too confident. He thought he was talented, but the man was just an overhyped prospect. That's why Al Heyman dropped the man. Bum ass nigga. Chris Colbert kind of remind me of Shakur Stevenson. The man think he a gangster, but deep down he know he a lame. <laughs> I bet you Chris Colbert wish he stayed dedicated. I bet you Chris Colbert wish he stayed in that gym instead of trying to be a rapper. Take a look at the arena that Chris Colbert was fighting in. I wouldn't even call this an arena. I think they was fighting in a garage, like I said. The man went from fighting on PBC to fighting in a place like this. I'm gonna shoot you in your shit. And just when I thought it couldn't get any worse for Chris Colbert, from fighting on a Wednesday on a YouTube to fighting Omar Salcedo. The reason I say that is because Omar Salcedo is trained by Jose Benavidez. That's right. Jose Benavidez knows exactly how to beat Chris Colbert. Jose Benavidez beat Chris Colbert twice. I don't care what nobody say. Rayo Valenzuela destroyed Chris Colbert in both fights. The second time, he just put the nail in the coffin. I have no respect for this guy, bro. And it gets worse than that. Chris Colbert went from fighting in a 12-round fight to fighting in a 10-round fight, and the man could not even make it 10 rounds. Omar Salcedo beat the brakes off Chris Colbert, and he ended up stopping Chris Colbert in the ninth round. Chris Colbert should retire from the sport of boxing and focus on his rap career. Stop being a bitch! Hey yo, Chris Colbert, bro. That is two stoppages in a row. I think you should hang it up, bro. Think about your health. Think about your future. Think about your children if you got any children. Boxing ain't your thing, bro. Maybe you should try to be a gangster, try to be a rapper, but don't ever put them gloves on again a day in your life. You just ain't cut like that, bro. Motherfucker, son of a bitch. Adrian Broner posts this on Instagram. It says, Chris Colbert, keep your head up, little bruh. I'm with you, win, lose, or draw. Hey, yo, AB, bro. I think you should tell Chris Colbert to keep his head down. Learn how to tuck that chin because he's steady getting it touched. And you should be ashamed of yourself. Talk about they going to put some respect on my name. You will never get respect on your name inside a boxing ring, bro. I don't ever want to see Chris Colbert a day again in my life. Hopefully, Shakur Stevenson's next. Fuck you, dumbass nigga. Speaking of Jose Benavidez, Rio Valenzuela is the most disloyal individual I ever seen in the history of boxing. The man decided to part ways with Jose Benavidez today. After Jose Benavidez led Rio Valenzuela to a championship at 140. The crazy part is, is that Rio Valenzuela didn't even call Jose Benavidez. He didn't speak to him face to face. The man decided to part ways on Instagram. Because he's a pussy, that's why. Ryo posted this. It says, hello everybody. I've been hearing a lot lately about my next fight, but I am no longer being managed or training with Jose Benavides or his team. It is time to move forward. Stay tuned for my next fight announcement. I don't think nobody care, bro. Jose Benavides didn't even know that Rayo Valenzuela parted ways with him. Like I said, he's a very disloyal individual. Stop being a bitch. Jose Benavides put this out on Instagram. As you can see, it's a big giant paragraph. But Jose Benavides basically said that he led Rayo Valenzuela to a title shot. Then the man went on to say, Jose Valenzuela could have at least been a man and talked to me first instead of sharing a post on Instagram. I am disappointed with his level of professionalism and hope he could continue to communicate professionally.
Basically, Jose Benavides is calling Rayo Valenzuela a coward. I think it was a big coward move from Rayo Valenzuela to part ways via the internet. You got mad enough to fuck with me. In my opinion, I think that Rayo just did not want to pay Jose Benavides any more money because he knows his paychecks are going to go up because he is a champion now. Bogus ass move if you ask me. Rayo Valenzuela is a disgrace to boxing. I have no respect for this guy, bro. I have no respect for this guy, bro. 